Welcome to the Marin County Search and Rescue video training series. Our search and rescue skills are disposable, and whether the pager goes off at 2 in the afternoon or 2 in the morning, it's important that you're ready. We've put together this series of training videos to allow you to keep your skills sharp. Feel free to pause, fast forward, or rewind so that you can learn at your own pace. Remember, this is not a substitute for the real thing. It's important that you're still attending Monday night meetings and weekend trainings so you can get hands-on experience. A well-prepared searcher is a well-trained searcher, and a well-trained searcher is ready for a mission anytime, anywhere, in any weather. Hi, I'm Andre, and today I'm going to be introducing the primary knots used in rope rescue systems. Before I talk about that, though, we're going to introduce some terms that I'll be using today as well. We've got the working end of the rope, which is used for tying the knot. We've got the standing end, which is in the system, and a tail, which is the rope you have left over after you tie the knot. We've got three different types of knots. We've got the family of eight, we've got the bowline, and the water knot. In addition, we'll be teaching you how to attach a prussic to a fixed line. The first knot I'm going to teach you is the figure eight. The figure eight is essential in any rescue system and is also used in any climbing situation. What you're going to want to do is first make sure you've got about three feet of rope, take a bite, wrap the working end around the bite, stick it up through, tighten, and there's your figure eight. The second knot I'm going to be showing is a figure eight on a bite. Essentially, it's the same thing and is used in the same purposes. It just gives a little bit more strength to the knot. What you're going to do is take a larger bite this time. You're going to take that bite, wrap it around the rope, up through the hole, pull, tighten, and there's your figure eight on a bite. The third knot I want to show you today is the figure eight follow through. First, you start out with your first knot you learned, the figure eight. You want to grab a tail from another rope. Make sure you've got plenty of room, three feet to be exact. And you want to follow the, the rope through. Put it up through the middle, back around, down through the knot, back up, and through the top. Step two is dressing the knot. You want to make sure that none of the lines on the knots are crossing each other. So to figure out what looks right, and there's a dress knot. Step three is the stopper knots. The stopper knots are important to tie off to make sure that you've got a clean end. The stopper knots consist of a simple overhand knot tied over the both ropes, like that. The fourth knot I'm going to show you is the bowline. The bowline is a hard knot off the bat, so if you don't get it the first time, don't worry. It takes practice. Make sure you've got enough room on the tail end. Create a loop using the working end. Stick the working end up through the hole back around, back through, tighten it up, and you've got a bowling. Let's try it a second time. Take the working end, stick it over the fixed end, the bunny comes up through the hole, around the tree, and back down into his hole, and runs away. The fifth knot I'm going to show you today is the water knot. The water knot is used to create a continuous loop around a tree or any anchor to create a solid system. First off, you'll tie a simple overhand knot using the webbing, just like that. Make sure you keep it loose a little bit before so you can feed the second piece of webbing through easily. Take the second piece, feed it up around, make sure you have tail. back over, through the end, tighten the two, and there's your water knot. Let's try it a second time. You'll tie a simple overhand knot using the webbing, just like that. Make sure you keep it loose a little bit before so you can feed the second piece of webbing through easily. Take the second piece, feed it up around, 
Make sure you have tail. Back over, through the end. Tighten the two, and there's your water knot. The next thing I want to show you is tying a prussic onto a fixed line. You take the prussic with the already knotted end towards yourself and feed that through once, twice, three times, and pull. The most essential part of this is that it's cleanly dressed because a cleanly dressed knot creates perfect friction and will tension the line. So now that you know these knots, there's a few things I want you to know. First off, make sure it's the right knot for the occasion. Second of all, make sure it's carefully dressed. And third of all, make sure it's recognizable. These knots are hard and take practice. So when you're at home or aren't doing anything, tie some knots. Put some gloves on, tie them in the dark, do whatever, but practice. Practice makes perfect. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this training segment useful. Remember, it's essential that we keep our skills sharp through practice. Review this or any of the other videos to make sure that you're ready to go the next time the pager goes off. We have additional resources at our website, marinsar.org. Thanks for joining us.